Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this really nice looking Air Mouse Remote. It is modeled Q7 and this is all-in-one IR learning remote. It has a voice control and also it will work with your smart TV or even Nvidia Shield. When you look at it, it reminds you of the Fire Stick remote, but this is a little bit better. So I will walk you through step by step of how this will work also how you can pair it and if you had problems with it how you can pair it back with the dongle that came with it and a little bit more i do not want to forget if you haven't subscribed to our channel click the click the subscribe button make sure you share this with your friends and family and make sure you click the notification icon and select all in order for you to get notified once we have a new video out on top of that if you have a question drop them at the bottom of the video we love to help you out asap and don't forget to click the click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos quickly for you. All right, so you can see that the box is really nicely designed. It is very colorful and they have spent a little more time on it. As you can see, they have everything written in the back. And when you go around it, it has a lot of markings that you really want to see. All right, enough said about it. Let's get this unboxed. So you can open from the top or very easily just flip it in the back, grab the bottom and open it. Now the best thing is that it just comes in just two little packets. And here is what's included in the box. All right, so, and the first thing that you will get in this box is the user manual. I really like it. It's very small, but very detailed and what it says in this and we will try to make this in this video so here you go shows the picture talks about what buttons it will do and also how you're going to be able to use the voice control on top of that pairing infrared learning yes we're going to cover that in this video also usb receiver how it's going to work and go into mouse function backlit how you're going to be able to function that and also some product parameter once we get to it we will explain everything step by step and that's about it in this in the back there's nothing there perfect so we will put this aside and here is the actual remote i know that how they packaged it is exactly how the fire stick remote was packaged you can see it is very similar when it comes to an actual thing let me just get it out first again even the plastic has been thought about one of those cheap version of the plastics you can see that they have taken care of little things all right so here's the remote itself how it looks i want to mention that this remote is made out of plastic and some silicon and in order to open the back you have a little part in the bottom that you have to you have to open there is a little 2.4 gigahertz receiver and this is how you it will be able to communicate with your box or smart tv or even if you have an nvidia shield this will do the job perfectly for you we're going to put this aside i really like how this was designed and it will give you more information for learning and how you're going to be able to play with it so i will be trying to cover everything in this video yes this requires two AAA batteries which is not included in the box once you place your batteries Place the back first, it goes this way, and then just clicks on. That's it. And you are set. So now when you press any button, you can see the red light is flashing. That means this USB is not connected to the actual box. And we will do that in a few seconds. So first, let's go through and capture some of these buttons. So from the top, we have the power button, and then we have the mute button. Then you have the volume down, volume up, and then also the mic button is right on the top. You have the four-way navigation key and then the OK button in the middle. One thing I want to mention is when you are ordering this, you do have a selection of blue button, orange button, or the green button for the OK. So you can select that before you purchase it. So this we are going to get it in a different color. And on top of that, you have the actual return key, home key, and the menu key right underneath of it. Then you do have the full number this is the air mouse button and then the delete key 
So this way you will be able to function everything on the screen properly. So here's some similarities. First, the design, and then when you go to the back, you have that little part so you put your finger and this one also have the same way so you know which way is up and which way is down really cool it has the little two knots in the bottom but this one have the little icon that you have to press so this way you know this is bottom and this is the top when you're holding it and same thing they have done for this one which you have this little part so even when you put it down it doesn't wobble but with the remote from the you see that it has a little wobble to it so they have actually thought about it and fixed that little wobble from this remote i really like those little details that they have bring for this type of remote all right so this is how it looks you don't have anything in the bottom again it is fingerprint residue magnet and you have to clean this all the time but when you go around it it's really cool and the top is the ir sensor so this way when you pair it with your tv this will work so you do not need to use the dongle in order to turn on and turn off your tv yes we will show that in this video and then going around there's nothing here but when you flip it in the back again that little part so you know this is the top when you put your finger to it and when you go to the bottom they put these little knots so when you put it down it doesn't wobble i really like that so again this is backlit in order for us to test you can see that the dongle is not connected yet we just want to show you the backlit itself so when you press any button there you go it comes on now it will eat some battery of course when this is on all the time but what you can do is hold this volume down and volume plus and then this way you can make it dimmer you see that and you can totally turn it off and now when you press on your button it doesn't come on now in order to turn it back on you just have to press these two buttons together and voila it comes back on so this way you can use it and it's not going to use that much of a battery if you want to turn it off all right, so here's the remote and we already connected to our Android TV OS. So this way it makes it a little bit easier because we have the voice control and more. So let's go through it and play with this. So first thing first, we will try to maneuver and just going to go back and forth. So you can see there's the button. And when I select, it selects the actual app accurately. And I don't have to go through it in order to select different ones. You can see it automatically just going to work with it. Now, that's not the only thing. So if we go on a top and we have to click on this little button that we have, and we're going to say, what is the weather like today? There you go, now it's doing its search. There you go, now it got all the information out for us for today. And yes, we have some flurries today, beautiful. So that means as the voice control really works. Now, if I have to press the volume up and you can see the volume goes up and I have to press the volume down, there you go. You can see that the volume goes down. I really like it. So it doesn't really jump that much up and that's jump that much down when you're pressing the volume down. I really like that. So that's another thing that they have really worked on this. Now, if there is a mute button. If I have to press, it totally mutes it out. And that's another plus sign for them. And if I have to go to anything on this and try to select any of the browser, like you can see I have browser and all. So if you go through it and you want to press one of these numeric buttons, it will work the same way. Now, one more thing that I want to mention on this is the air mouse. So there's the air mouse right here. Right now you can see there's no air mouse on it, but if I have to click on it one time and there you go this is the air mouse so you have to maneuver a little bit so that way you can get it accurately and the more back you go the better the mouse gets the more near it is it is totally out of zone but now when you go a little bit back you can see that it is working accurately that's what really what we are looking for now i do not know the exact place that this is focused so let me just focus it on the actual tv and now you can see that when i move my mouse it works that's another really cool thing. So another part was that how you're going to be able to pair your remote so you can turn on or turn off the actual TV. You can see I have a Psyche TV and here's the remote for it. There you go. And it is Psyche, you can see it. So now I'm going to program these two together and make it learn so it can turn on and turn off the TV. So now in order to make the Psyche remote sync with your actual air remote right here, we have to make sure that 
we do this properly. Now I will show you step by step of what you need to do, but make sure that both of the remotes are present, your, your air mouse remote and also your TV remote are present. And then we have to make sure that when you are positioning it in front of each other, there's not much gap in the middle. So it's about one finger like that much space would be best in order for the remote to send the signal for the power so we can program this. All right, so let's go through and process it. For that, in this remote, you have to press the home button and the menu key for about two seconds. There you go. Now you can see that it is blinking. That means it's ready for it to be paired. Now make sure that your IR sensor, the front part, is facing the IR sensor in to the actual remote. So we're gonna do it one more time. There you go, now it's flashing, so you gotta put it in the front, and then you have to press the power on the other remote and hold it for a few seconds and let it go. And then you have to press the power, and now it's sync. So now we can go through and hook it up and try to turn on or turn off the actual TV to make sure this works. So here you go, you can see the TV is totally off. And the light is also off. So now here's my remote, here's the power. And then when I click on the actual power, you can see that it turned it on. That's how easy it is to pair this remote with your TV so it can turn on easily. All right, so in order to pair the Q7 remote with the actual dongle, make sure your box is turned on. As you can see right now, it is already powered on. Take the dongle out, place it on top of your box, Grab your remote and very easily you're going to press the OK and the return key for a couple of seconds and let it go. And now you will see that this is blinking. We will place this down. You can see still blinking and we have to put the USB back on and it will stop blinking. That means is now it is paired. So let's go through and check it out on the TV. So here you can see the screen is totally on and my remote is on my hand with the backlit on see that this part works perfect and when you go through it so this part works now in order to make sure the air mouse works it's in the bottom you have to press it and then you can roll and you can see that it paired perfectly that's how easy it is to pair something like this it doesn't matter what box or what smart tv you have this will work accurately for you so this remote is very inexpensive to purchase links will be available we can get it from at the bottom of this video again this was our take on this remote it is a very good remote this will replace a lot of remotes for you if you have broken your actual remote for your android box this will do the job also if you have a nvidia shield this will really do the job for you if you want to replace that remote if you have a remote for your smart tv even with the voice search with the air mouse, everything is packaged in one. The only thing is, it doesn't have a keyboard in the back, which we do not really need because it has the voice search. All the links will be available where you can order it from. I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the, click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is xctext.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.